morning and welcome back to City Line. With me in the studio, I have the Sister Cities International Film Festival, and uh, that is a wonderful tradition in Tacoma. So please join me in welcoming Oxen Wilson. You are the chair of the Gunson Sister Committee Film Festival organizer. Welcome, my dear. Thank you. 감사합니다. 초청해 주셔서 감사합니다. Well, thank you very much. And tell me what you said to me. I just said, thank you for inviting us. That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love that. I could listen to that all day and be happy. <laughs> and speaking of being happy, this woman who I love and adore on Facebook, she is everywhere spreading happiness. Miss Melanie Cunningham, you are the vice chair mm -hmm. of the Sister Cities Council of Tacoma. Um, and uh, my goodness, welcome, my dear. I know you are Thank so you. busy, and it's so great to get you on this comfy couch. I appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you for having us. And this man, as we were just saying, last time I saw you on Facebook, hobnobbing with Ruth Bader Ginsburg mm. at Sundance Film Festival, Mr. Philip Cowan, Executive Director of the Grand Cinema. Welcome. Thanks. Great to be back. Good to have you here. Wow. And you know, you and I have to have a little lunch so I can really like pick your brain about yeah. RBG. So, Oxen, let's talk about this. If somebody does not know what the Sister Cities Film Festival is, what do we tell them? Tell them that we want to promote our sister cities in Tacoma, and also we want people to experience culture and language experience. I want to simply say that. Mm -hmm. And whole thing is about the Tacoma is an international city. We have uh, people from all over the world. In order for us to get along with each other, we have to know where they are coming from. Yes. And through these films, they get to know glimpses of each country's language and culture and family life and social norms and all of this. So we want to promote that. And I think as you heard that, 1956, in 1956, President Eisenhower created international sister cities mm -hmm. so that we can be peaceful global family. Yes. Instead of, uh, you know, my way or highway, we want yes. to people to understand each other and respect each culture, language, even religion. So I, the whole thing about the uh, sister cities international film is to be part of that uh, big concept. Yes. Oh, you said that so beautifully. And even more now in our world do we need what you just said. Um, my daughter always asks me, why are documentaries your favorite kind of film? And I've said, because I get to learn about the history of people and where they're coming from. And that is so important if we are going to move forward together and find a way to relate to each other and, and, and have peace. And this is the 16th year of the Sister Cities Film Festival. Oxen, what's new this year? What the new, new is uh, all of our sister cities are showing our films. So uh, it's... Also, Bravery is our one of the newest sister cities. There mm -hmm. are two in uh, 19, uh, seven, uh, 2017. And so it, it's a very significant that we get to see Ukrainian movie and also Mexico movie as well. So Absolutely. Just, just, just sit in, in the ground and just be a world traveler and you're fine. Yep. So speaking of that, in order for us to be a world traveler, Miss Melanie, we have to know when is the festival, the dates and time and location, so we can show up. Yes, so we are uh, gathering on Mondays and uh, we've already started. So now we're- Thursday. Gonna, Thursday. Thir I'm sorry, Thursday. <laughs> Duh. We're gathering on Thursdays and we're going all the way through May 3rd. I love that. And so, um, what we're billing this as is a really great uh, date night. Oh, know? absolutely. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so you can bring, you know, just set your dates ahead of time, come out. We have cultural programs prior to uh, the film, and, and so each committee will be able to share the work that they're doing mm -hmm. and any latest news that's going on from 
from their cities and then they can see the film and you know meet with folks and we're hoping that people will get interested in the sister cities and and then possibly want to join us absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely so philip this is the second year that the festival has been held at the grand cinema what i mean what, you, the grand cinema travels everywhere in terms of what they show but what makes the grand excited to partner with the tacoma sister cities on this festival? Sure, well, I mean, we're, we're Tacoma Cinema, so it, it's are. a natural fit to some degree, but we, we already play a lot of foreign films just in our normal things, um, and we have an audience that's a built-in that supports us routinely, uh, and any time that we can partner with an organ another organization where we're totally doing something that we can both coordinate and both promote and have two different audiences mm -hmm. come in, we can be really successful on those things, and this is this is a standing organization like the Grand, mm -hmm. combining with uh, something that's been going on for many years with the Sister Cities Film Festival and putting together is just kind of a natural fit and we bring the audiences together and uh, every Thursday at 6.30 we've got a good program and uh, and it just really fits us all and we can work together. It's, it is the definition of a win-win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It absolutely is. So, um, Melanie, George S.A. just celebrated its 20th Sister yes. City anniversary. Tell us about the celebration. Oh, the celebration was off the hook. There was 15 folks from, from around the United States because our reach is broad. So yes. even though we have, you're a member of Sister Cities Tacoma, you can share with your friends about our wonderful Sister City. So we took 15 folks to George, South Africa, and we had, oh. we had the time of our lives. We produced a women's conference because August is Women's Month, and we were there during August, of just, th just this past August. And so we were able to gather women from all over the George community, and they even came from Cape Town oh. for an empowerment conference around mind, body, and spirit. And the women and our interaction and, and learning about our what's so similar about us as well as our differences was a very powerful thing. I can tell you now that Tacoma is on people's lips in I love South Africa. That. It's coming out of their mouth, Tacoma. I love that. So yes. you just mentioned something that I want to kind of just tease out of you for a bit, and that is... If you had to pick one way that you found that we were different, but one way that we were similar, what would they be? I would say our search for peace. Is the same. Is the same. Yes. And the way that we go about it is different. There we go. Beautifully mm -hmm. said. I, would, I knew you would ace that. I would say that. Yeah, and, um, that. and that is the most humbling uh, experience because you can see that we've had similar struggles in our history, mm -hmm. but the way that we are approaching um, the, the search for peace, the search for humanity, the search for love for one another, they have truth and reconciliation going on. And right now we're still, we're still this is, we're in denial. Yeah. So let me just put it that way. Absolutely. So our world isn't, we're in denial. Right. No, not only anybody would argue and, that right yeah. now. So, yeah. So, so, Oxen, the Gunsan City Sister Committee recently um, had visitors from Korea mm -hmm. uh, who attended a local school. Is that yes. correct? And what was, tell me about that experience. What was it like? Well, this is the second year. Actually, it's the fourth year. I taught at, um, I am a retired teacher from this Tacoma School District. Oh. I taught 40 years. Most of my teaching was uh, taking place at Fun Hill Elementary School. So four years ago, I brought students from Yongguang City and Hongnungso Elementary School students. And uh, this school is so small that they only had, a, it's a, a public school, however, they only had uh, like 11 students. Oh my. They, the school was uh, to shut down and I didn't want that to happen. So Mr. Park is the um, state council person, and he's, he wanted to save the school, and they approached me because they know that uh, I'm a school teacher, so I brought them over. And ever since, we, this is our uh, fourth year doing oh. exchange student program. I, this year, I brought uh, seven students. Mm. All of them are, uh, six of them are fourth grader and one is fifth grader. They all had a homestay. Uh, 
-hmm. And um, the uh, principal of uh, Jenny Reed, yes. she was named uh, uh, principal of the year last mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. And then and Abby is uh, vice uh, principal over there. And they, they said that these students are welcome to our school again. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. And the two teachers and also uh, one of the office coordinators, they took these children in to mm -hmm. be their, you know, so, sort of like a surrogate Oxen, parents while you. they're there. Thank mm -hmm. you for, for And the, also there's a person, friend of mine, Teresa Maxwell, she's the CIA. We do have a after school program in Tacoma mm -hmm. School District, which is called Communities in Schools. Yeah, cool and she took teacher and two students. Okay. So these students uh, are brought in to uh, have a good experience mm -hmm. in home life okay, of so American family. Oxen, I, wanna, I have to interrupt you because I want to ask about the films, and I know that there's so much more you can <laughs> am, tell. Yeah. You, but this is a wonderful <laughs> program that you have yes. started, and yeah. people need to sit down with you and really yeah. benefit. Yeah, so, anyway. So uh, Philip, thank you for asking oh, that you're question. You're welcome. Though. So mm -hmm. Philip, in these last few minutes, tell us what films you are most excited for this year. Well, the, broadly, the films are really interesting because a lot of these are ones that you can't see anywhere else that we have to really go out and fish for a lot of times to, to try to find out films because you're not always, you see films from, you know, Europe or things like that frequently, but to get a film from Ukraine, you don't see that very often. Right, no. And so some of those uh, example, The Living Fire is one from Ukraine that's on March 8th. Uh, and that's, that's our, I believe that's our only documentary in the series this year. And it's a really good chance to see the rural life in Ukraine from some shepherd's mm -hmm. point of view. Um, so that's a really good chance. Um, March 15th is one from Israel. It's called The Women's Balcony. Um, that one's one that has Ooh. a little bit wider distribution in the U.S., but it, it kind of brings us to, you know, we're talking about racial and gender issues here and a lot in the U.S., and this one talks about the gender issue. Uh, it's an orthodox community in Jerusalem, and it's about the women's roles uh, in their society there. So it's a good chance to see a little bit of that. And, and one the, more. Yes, the one more. <laughs> the f film Felix from South Africa on May 3rd. There we go. Uh, it's a good story of a 13-year-old who wants to be a sax player like his father. Um, so there's, there's a chance to see a lot of good diversity in all of these films. And then, like I said before, see some cultural programming ahead of time. And bring your family with you. Yeah. Bring your yeah. children with you so they get, a better, they get a better view. If they haven't stepped outside of Washington State, it will mm -hmm. change their world. And so we can be global citizens. Thank you, all three of you, for being here today, for the vision and mission that you've explained so beautifully for your activities and for the partnership with the Grand Cinema. Um, I am just so impressed, and I want to have you back next year for the 17th year on yes. this. All right, deal? Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. When we come back after a brief message, we will have the South Sound Go Red for Women Luncheon here in the studio. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back.